I'm Lynn. I'm Arnie. And welcome to a snowy but fairly nice temperature day. Dorses are white because they blend in with the snow, the coyotes can't find them. You would think, except that I can see them quite clearly back there. And they're having a good time. Lambs like the snow. Why is not screen again, is it? Yeah, it is. Here she is. She's uh, famous now. She's still out here, screams every day. She wants to be in with the big guys, but at the same time, she wants to make sure mommy knows she's still around. Now so we're... let's get started. And here's the little rascals. Oh, they're stinky. And they're stinky. Hi. And I think she doesn't look as dirty anymore because she's probably eating more creep feed and nursing less now. Yeah. You haven't figured it out yet. The whole group's gone. But one's behind the gate, is it? Oh no, it's this side. Hi, you guys. They're littler ones. Oh, who wants their bottles? Oh, and there's Cupcake. Something new, eh? <laughs> These are the fall 2022 lambs. Max, please. Oh, they were quiet, eh? Are you characters? It's gonna there. It's gonna because of the snow. It's the lighting's is probably not gonna be very good. Oh, oh there's my little forty-three peanuts land. Outside, it's super bright because of that snow. But uh, we knew it was going to snow last night, so we closed both curtains in this barn. And it actually looks dark in here. This barn usually always looks very bright. But the reason for that is the snow is covering the tarp right now. So it's making it look dark. And the curtains are all up on both sides. The doors are open on either end. But until the temperatures warm up a bit, it'll be dark in here. And then the snow will start to melt off the top and it'll all come off. Just slides right off. Someone over here got some grain in her wool, so the other one's kindly taking it out. damper conditions today and the sheep running out in the snow. The pens get dirtier when it's like this. So it's about time these guys got a new straw bale. Could be a little complicated getting them in here. We'll see how it goes. But now you see they're at that curious age where everything new that comes into their pen is something that they got to go check out. What are you guys doing? It's a straw bale. Yes, it's a straw bale. Yeah, it is. So to get this straw bale in here, we unhooked this gate and opened it up and rolled it through while the ewes were preoccupied with their hay. Otherwise, they would immediately run in here to try eat the creep feed, but they didn't realize what was going on. And these are the new straw bales we made this summer. They're bigger than the bales we usually use because if you recall, there was a bale, baler breakdown and we had to get uh, other people in to bale it for us. So they made them much bigger and the straw is quite chopped up. So normally in the past we would have 
he would have just put the bale right here and rolled it around the pen and it would have covered the pen. But we know from experience that this bale, when you chop it open, basically falls apart and has to be spread by hand. He'll get a little bit rolled out, but usually it just uh, dissolves into nothing. There it goes. So he pushed it out, it rolled out and came out in one big clump. So you like if our hay bales and stuff that we used to roll around the barn were much easier than this. But it is light, but it's going to be very messy now because it's going, going to be dusty. But see how the little core, it just rolls out? That, because that was packed tighter, so it's sticking together more. But the outer part doesn't roll out. But if it were up to the lambs, I'm thinking they would like it if they had a giant bridge in here. Look at them. they got to check out everything now. They're just at that exploratory age. And Stinky is always in the thick of things. She's our famous leaper in all those leaping pictures you see. <laughs> Most of the time it's her. I guess that urine's like gasoline. <laughs> what do you think, buddies? And again, this is just something new now. New bedding coming out. And this is going to get them all excited. And when you walk on a chop bale of straw like that, the reason they're slipping around is it's extremely slippery. It's almost like ice because the little, little pieces of straw are sliding against each other. Some of the lambs are still in the creep area. They don't realize that there's something going on out here. They're too busy eating, like Cupcake. Cupcake's the one at the end there. This is the rowdy crew. So you'll see them nibbling at it and stuff. Straw has no nutritional value, but it, it won't harm them. It's uh, just the stalks of the barley plants. Occasionally, if they'll luck, they're lucky, they'll find a few grains of barley in the mixture. These lambs are free to go outside right now, but I don't know if the camera picks it up how it looks like we got a big layer of fog in here, but that's the <coughs> straw dust. Here's that little lamb that I like. Katie. Wait till you see her face. Come on, make it quicker. You want to see your face. Lammy, how much do you need to drink? 
Obviously, she's very thirsty. This is what I mean by sheep drink a lot of water. Oh, but you're very nice too. We can look at you in the meantime. There she is. <laughs> now all the wool under her cheeks are all soaking wet. You a little soggy now? That one's 13. 13 and 14 are both really nice. Now we'll have the lambs spread out the straw a little better. Little pieces of popcorn. Okay, number 13's just trying to nurse off her mom. Mom's not too interested in it. But Lisa, let me see who her mom is. Number 13 is a purebred Dorset ewe. So 13 is a purebred. Because uh, I know 13. She's uh, one, of, one of our sheep. She's really nice to you. Right now it looks like all the lambs are inside because this is a little more fascinating than the snow at the moment. This will be a nice cozy barn for them tonight for sleeping in. And now I think we're going to bring some straw into the other barn. On the adult side we're using some old hay that we had stacked up in the yard um, that was just going bad. It was uh, first cut hay from last year. So that makes good bedding. We wanted to put the nicer stuff with the lambs. This is great bedding for the ewes too. And as you can see this one rolls all the way out. So it's a little easier to, to put into the pens and it's definitely way less dusty. We were hoping that the round straw bales would push out like this, but unfortunately it's just too fine. So you have to put some fork work into it. It's not just the dust that's making me sniffle. I think I'm getting a cold. First cold I've had in years. Yeah. So this pen, this, the bedding's all out. Looks nice and soft and squishy for them tonight. 
now that we're into those minus temperatures at night they appreciate the nice warm bedding to lie down and snuggle up in so the old hay we're pulling out is from way back there in the field and it's taking up space and it needs to be used up so we figure it's good for bedding also going to roll out some straw for the Suffolk barn. Curtains are up here right now too because it snowed last night. We don't want snow coming in the barn because it makes the bedding pack wet. So uh, we'll be cracking the curtains open a little bit today once we get the snow uh, straw down here. This is Geronimo's group we're in right now. I got a lot of pet ewes in here. This bale is actually old first cut hay as well. But this is a really nice bale so they're eating it too. So that's okay if they nibble off it at first. But then they'll go back to the stuff in the manger because they, they are like anything. They don't want to eat it when it gets dirty. But most people would consider that to be pretty good hay for first cut. It's just that we have so much of it this year. We may as well use it up rather than it going to waste. Because the problem with hay is on a good year when you have lots of it, so does everyone else and so no one wants it. On bad years when hay is in short supply, it is very expensive to buy because nobody has any. Hi, you are an angel. You're beautiful. Yes, you are. You're lovely. This is Heather. Hi, Heather. Heather was born during the COVID pandemic. She's one who I wanted to show at the fairs because uh, she's just beautiful. But there were no fairs that year and she would have done really good because she's one of our bigger ewes as well. And she, she had triplet lambs her first year which is very unusual for a first timer and a Suffolk. She's a beautiful girl. And now we're on the other side. So we got the Dorset barn done, the Suffolk barn done. Yesterday we put straw down in the main barn. So the only barn we have left to do is all the replacement ewe lambs and the rams over there. And they'll all have nice fresh bedding. It's also part of winter preparations. You don't use too much bedding in the summer because the warm temperatures keep it really dry and um, they're outside a lot of the time too so the bedding goes a lot further in the winter time when it's locked up and dampy conditions the straw doesn't dry out so you have to put more bedding on top more often But I sat down in this pen because it looked clean, but when I sat down to pet the sheep in here a few minutes ago, my knees got wet, so that's a sure sign you need uh, to put dry straw in. If Ben can't help, at least he can supervise. Snow's starting to come in again. Ben, I saw you. bringing a straw bale out to the ewe lambs at the back of the barn and we have to drive down this alleyway 
and I don't know if you can see how big that rut is, but it's about a six inch rut where we drove the skid steer. And that's why we don't like to pile bales up in a, a line. There's uh, two wrappers that wrap your hay in a line along the edge of your field. And a lot of people use that, but because of muddy, snowy, wet conditions, it really destroys your fields when you do that. So we decided to go for the individual wrap bales right in the yard because we don't like to be out in the muck. And so it's bad for the fields, it's bad for the laneways, and it's hard to drive through with the machinery. Hi, you guys. Hi. It's snowy in the field today. You're going to have to dig for hay if you want some. These guys are free to go out, but I, I'm guessing they'll probably stick really close to home today. Hi. how keen they are about wandering too far. We're supposed to get snow all day. A dark and dreary day. Ben, stay here. Come here. They don't want that. So the ewe lambs did an entire circuit of their pasture. It's really hard to see them in this light and with the snow and the mist and stuff. But they did the whole circuit and you can, they were all running kind of the whole way. And it's really hard to see coyotes from that far. So you get a little bit nervous in these kind of conditions. But I'm guessing they were running around because they're trying to find a grassy patch and there's pretty well no grassy patches left right now. And I expect they're gonna come back through the gate and spend the day in the barn. It will be left open for them but pasture grazing is pretty well out now. Boys are meandering out as well. Checking out the snow. They'll go scratch around, have some exercise. But uh, they've got a really nice cozy pen to go back into when they're ready. You can see the snow is starting to fall off the roof now, but there's more coming in, so. So we're going to give straw to a sheriff's group, which is in the very back. So of course all the ewes want to come out. And we don't mind if they come for a little romp around the yard. Sheriff's group is at the back. So he's just going to drop that straw bale over. And that will be every single barn got straw today or bedding. So everyone's going to be happy. I think it is comforting when it's snowing outside and cold. I think even the sheep really like that when they get a nice clean pack. See now I can sit down comfortably comfortable and when you sit in the straw and it's nice and puffy like this you can feel the warmth it really is a, a warm feeling hi guys hello do you like kinny bedding you can see the the steam coming out of their noses that's how cold it is in here We 
this girl here would be a, a Texel cross. There you go, Texel cross. Most of them in this pen are dorsets. You can, with the white ears, you can see that they got tattoos. This view here is Elsie. She's the mom of Jezebel. If you remember Jezebel from last year and Jerry. This one's one of our little cross lambs that we kept. Hi. But you can see the tattoos. Elsie's tattoo is harder to see. We didn't do her tattoo because she's not from our farm. This one you can see her tattoo. She's an H. I can tell that from here. And here's Toonie. Toonie doesn't have a tattoo because she's a cross. Looks to me like Elsie's forming a little bit of an udder there or two. Elsie came all the way from British Columbia. <laughs> and this is the this is the lamb we just bought this year at the classic. Hi. Hi. And you can see, even though these are, most of them are all dorsets, you can see that they all have slightly different facial traits. We'd like to get the faces a little more consistent. But the puffy heads, this time of year you can see the puffy heads and that's what makes dorsets look very attractive, I think. Are you very attractive? You look very attractive. You do. Every barn has got straw. Every barn's been fed. You can see already that a lot of the lambs are snuggling up in that clean straw. Yeah, they doesn't take long. And here she is, little 14. She's really dorsey looking. Oh, and here's little 43. So the lambs are looking a little wintry today. As usual, gladiators scrounging in the grain trough looking for every last morsel of corn he can find in there. Okay, so everybody's fed. We're both sniffling. I no, think we're, we're I think we're gonna go in and have a hot tea with lemon and honey and maybe I'll make yeah. some homemade chicken noodle soup and get rid of this cold. Yeah. Anyway. Thanks for joining us, and I hope you join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now. Bye for now. And this is our view this morning. I don't like the cold, but the first snowfall is always extremely pretty. So I thought I'd share this with you today. Everything sounds quiet when it's like this too.